Hello, my friends. Remember me? Surprise again, it's Miss Lacey. And I'm not wearing a mask because I'm in my home. Today's story that I have for you is called The Kissing Hand. And here on the cover, we have a picture of a big raccoon and a little raccoon. And if you look very closely, the big raccoon is giving a teeny tiny kiss under the hand of the little raccoon. This story is by Audrey Penn. Let's go ahead and look at it. The kissing hand. Look at this picture. Just looking at it, if you had to guess, is this picture from the daytime or the nighttime? Looking at the colors that you see, do you think that this is a sun or a moon? It's a moon, right? We see all of these dark blues and blacks. That's a way that the artist can show you that it's nighttime, but still allowing you to see. We've got some possums here. Those usually come out at night. And raccoons, they typically come out at night. And bunnies, well, bunnies are just bunnies. They're everywhere. Let's go ahead and read the story and see what it says. Oh, now there's a beautiful daytime looking photo right there. Yeah, look at all of these beautiful creatures. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. Oh, have you ever seen such a, such a sad face? Look at the face. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? Oh, he's given the full waterworks. He feels very strongly that there is a mistake happening here. He should not be going to school. But look, you see that? Those fall leaves? School typically starts in the fall here in America, and he is an American animal. Yeah, it's time for him to go to school. I guess that's new for him and he's very nervous. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on his ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. Oh, look, all of his friends are there and they're listening in. They're very supportive. Look at that beautiful squirrel. Yeah, we've got a bird here. It seems very supportive. Yeah, and there's Mommy Raccoon talking to her sweet little baby. There's Chester right there. Oh, he's gonna be okay, but he doesn't really know that. This is something new. And sometimes when you're looking at something new, you think, well, I don't want it if I can have something I already know. He doesn't know yet that school's gonna be so much fun. You'll make new friends and play with new toys. That's a great thing about school, is it brings you in contact with way more friends that you can play with. And school has toys that you might not have at your house. See, here he would be playing with this little baby possum there. He'd be having so much fun. Read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. Oh, there's a funny little thing that she said there. Because they're raccoons, they're going to night school. See, we people, we do our things in the daytime because we, we have a hard time seeing at night. We see usually in the daytime much better. So we do our things in the day. But see this skunk here? That's also something that's usually out at night. All of these little creatures here, they'll be playing with him at night at school. See, they'll be out reading books. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? Oh, a very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. 
The kissing hand? asked Chester. What's that? Look at these beautiful creatures here. Here's a frog. At nighttime, you tend to hear the tree frogs singing. Here's a dragonfly. They kind of fly around whenever they want. There's a little snail. They like to be out at night, so that way they don't get too hot. They can roam around safely in the dark and not have to worry too much about getting eaten by birds, though sometimes other creatures might get them. So here is Chester, and he's holding his mommy's hand. I wonder if this is when he learns what the kissing hand is. I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. That's the flat area on the inside of your hand. That's your palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand, up his arm, and then into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Oh, it's nice getting kisses from Mommy, isn't it? Yeah. See, there it is. There's the magic kiss. It's sitting right there. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty, warm thoughts. Ooh, look at all these other creatures. They're listening. Look at that sweet little bee getting the last of its work done while it's still daytime. Chester's giving her hugs. Do you think it's going to work? Do you think Chester's going to believe? Of course he is. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry. When you open your hand and wash your food, I promise that the kiss will stick. Oh, these creatures are starting to go to school. Mom says that when he washes his food, the kiss will still be there. Raccoons wash their food before they eat it. So whenever they find food, they dunk it in water and they scrub it very carefully so that they don't get sick. That's a smart idea to always make sure you stay clean. Raccoons like to stay clean too. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. Look, he's looking at the kiss in his hand, just like this. Raccoons have teeny tiny clever little hands. Look at those little fingers. And now look, here he is enjoying his day knowing he had the kiss in his hand and now he can play. Look at that. Yeah. A kitty cat just came down the stairs behind me. Did you hear him? <laughs> that night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Oh, it's definitely nighttime now. Spider is out making its beautiful nighttime web. Here's a little baby possum getting ready to go to school. There's a big bird up there. And oh, look, if you look really close, there's a teeny tiny little grasshopper. The light for the night school is on. They're waiting for him in class. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. There he goes. He's giving her a kiss right there on her hand. Oh, all of these animals are all there. They're being so supportive. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. There's all of these creatures now. Off they go. It's time for school. There's 
There's mommy. She's waving. Bye-bye. She knows he's going to have a great time. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. Oh, isn't that nice? So now mommy won't be lonely either. And now everyone's gathered together for their lessons up in the trees, living their night lives while we sleep. What a beautiful story. And here is a sweet little way to say, I love you. If you fold your hand just like that, that means I love you. Go ahead and practice it. Check with the teachers in the room to see if you're doing it correctly. Next time you're with your family and you're feeling a little unsure about going to class, maybe you can suggest the idea of having a kissing hand. Maybe that could help. Other things that sometimes help is giving a really good squeeze and counting one, two, three, and then releasing. But remember, we can't keep our family with us all day. When they bring you to class, it's time to go to class. So give them your love, and then it's time to go on and start your day. You know that they'll always come back for you. They always do. All right, that's the end of our story for today. Thank you so much for being such good listeners. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.